Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we had discussed about the Java 8 enhancement in wrapper class is called integer and uh, long. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the uh, uh, some of the new enhancement in uh, wrapper class is called float and double. So you can see on the screen, uh, I have listed, I mean methods which has been added in Java 8 in these two classes. So when we talk about the float or wrapper class, then there are five methods have been added in Java 8. And similarly in double double class, also five methods have been added. And let's talk about these methods. These methods are you can see the name of these methods is is similar in these two classes right so first method which returns you boolean object right and these methods all methods are static so directly you can call by its class name right so when we talk about the first method is called is finite you pass the float value when you talk about the same method which is available in double then you need to pass the double value and this is returns you the boolean right so either true or false so if this float value is a finite number then it's return you uh, uh true if infinite then this will return you a false and similarly this method same i mean with this with the name same name is available in the double works in similar fashion now hash code if you pass the float value you will get the corresponding hash code value of that float and similarly in double class right now some max and mean these are the three methods which is also available in integer as well as long classes right and uh, these three methods is also available in uh, float and double wrapper classes so name is self saying that you pass two float value this will uh, get the sum and you, you will get the sum of these two float value max you are passing two number and asking you to this api give me the maximum value right so this will you return to the max of this two number now similarly mean right so you pass the two number you get the minimum number right so that's all about this method this is just level just a high level uh, dis description uh, for this api let's go to the eclipse and try to explore this api through an example so i have created a project with name float and double wrapper java 8 methods and here i have created a client program with main method so let's start with the very first method right in float class so as I said these methods are uh, static methods method. so directly you can call by a class name itself so is finite I'm going to test first so here I'm gonna pass like 200.89 f right so this is a finite number so definitely this is gonna return you true right so if you print then this is gonna return you finite right so this will return you true now again I'm going to call this method and I would say is finite and here I am going to divide I mean 20 is a float number divided by 0 right so this is going to return you infinite right so in mathematics if you divide a number by 0 so it's infinite consider as a non-defined right and this will return your value as uh, false right so let's print this value and let's run this program and see what value we are getting so in first case it's a finite number right so this is returning us true but in second case just you are dividing i mean 20 is a float number just trying to divide by uh, zero right so this will give you the result as a false because this is not a finite number now next api uh, float and let's say sum right so you pass the two float number like 20 20.45 and float always uh, suffixed with f and let's say 12.5 f and this will return you the sum of these two parameter if you sorry if you print so this will print you the sum of these two similarly we have a next method we have a like max max you will specify two number 20.0f and 123.434f 
and this will return you max value let's print this max value so max of this two and similarly let's call a uh, function is called mean right so mean right let's say local variable name is mean so this is gonna return you mean value and finally we had seen a method is called hash code right so let's say hash code here you pass the some float value and this is going to return you hash code of this number right so let's print hash code and almost we have done let's run this program. so already we have talked about the this first two outputs now let's talk about the third SOP so third SOP is just trying to find the sum of these two float numbers so that's why we are getting this sum of these two number now max of these two float numbers so this is returning your max max value then mean of these two so that is returning your 20.0 f this is a minimum value in this two float value and finally we are getting the hash code of this uh, number right as code of this right so i'm not going to i mean talk up i'm not going to show you practically methods which are available in the double class this will work in very similar fashion right so you can see each finite here instead of float you need to pass double uh, has code you need to pass double now sum you need to pass the double these two operand you will have to, to pass these two parameter you'll have to pass as a double you will get the so, sum in the double itself Similarly, you, you will have to pass two double value, a max of those two you will get, and you will pass two long value, you will get mean, mean of these two. So, this works very similar fashion. So, I am not going to uh, explore these things through an example. So, thanks for watching this video, and uh, this video I am going to upload on the GitHub, and see you in, in next video tutorial.